So you, you you bring you coming um coming with your brother Gordon, and uh, yeah, he, he's playing it as a support act uh, concern. Right. So we'll, we'll tell us a little bit of what, what we can expect from cons- concern. Um, it's uh it's another solo project and it's um it's a more drone ambient music. It's uh other tape loops and he has uh, like a lap steel guitar that is played. A number of different ebos just to create sort of a natural like full chord resonance um it's up through a mixer uh, it's uh I, I think kind of doom music but really kind of soothing and beautiful and but, you know, definitely very abstract and uh you know more drawn out than you know the, the kind of pop music that i think mean. So um, you mentioned that you, um, <clears throat> like on, on your more recent tour to Europe, that you, you toured with a full band as opposed to being solo. Um, do you sort of just flip flop between the two kind of lineups? Because I mean, obviously you're playing solo here. Um, whenever I can afford to tour with a band, I, I, I will. But um, uh, I really like playing music by myself. I love that I can afford to you know, do both at different times. Um, I don't know. I mean, they, they both have you know, very different kind of appeals. I mean, they're, you know, after a lot of, doing a lot of touring on my own, it can get a little lonely. And I, you know, I, I like being able to travel just with other people and have other people to share the experiences with. And, you know, the music really takes on a different kind of quality. And once you get other people's input and ideas happening, um, but there's just something about, you know, the really direct expression of you know, brain to hand, just, you know, making music Not that long ago, released um, versus children. Oh, oh yeah, it came out in uh, April. This release, right, right. Um, I think you a quote that you said that the, the songs on the album are all either about babies and or bank robbers. Um, I, I think I've sort of been long, kind of fascinated with bank robbery. Um, one of the songs and one of the themes of the record was inspired by a guy I worked with for a while who. Um, Found out years later was, was robbing banks at the same time we were we were working at a movie theater together and it sort of would followed his followed his his history and his criminal career through just the press uh, through you know, magazine and newspaper articles after he was caught and in prison and it was just having known someone personally who sort of had this secret second life as a, as a criminal I don't really got me thinking about the kind of people who commit crimes and um, uh, I read an uh, interview with Willie Nelson where he was talking about uh, his Red Headed Stranger album that's sort of likening the life of like a, a traveling troubadour as a country musician to being you know, a, a criminal on the lamb and I mean there, there are aspects of criminal life that I think I absolutely kind of romanticize and I've been kind of long fan fascinated by bank robbery and sort of what we're seeing parallels between that lifestyle and, you know, the weird way that I make a living is just, you know, traveling town to town, you know, dealing mostly with cash and, <laughs> uh, you know, never being in a 
So, so I mean, I guess anybody who's um, familiar with with your your backstory would know that you you, know, you dropped out of film school um, to pursue making music. Um, I understand that the the main reason for that is because you you found you you felt that it was easier to to realise your storytelling through through song than it was through film. Is that right? Um, I you know I I, I didn't have any I think particular talents as as a filmmaker. I did go to school for. Yeah. 